everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last build we went video game when we built the claw shot from Legend of Zelda. Uh, if you missed that build, we're going to include the link in the description below to our channel's homepage so you can go over there and check out claw shot um, or any of the other cool builds we have there. Um, and for this build, we're going to stay video game. So without further ado, Black Sheep Props would like to introduce you to the newest member of the family. <laughs> yeah! Look at that thing, man. The Tomahawk from Assassin's Creed. Nice. It's got the cool slight wave in the handle. We've got the cool leather wrap. Um, we've got these little wraps around the shaft here, the gold ones and the red ones. And look at that head. All carved out. Man, that is the head you know and love right there. Wow. And we've got the cool twine wrapped around it too, which is really cool detail. Um, we did not put the, the hanging cord with the feather. You can add that if you want. Uh, all you have to do is draw a little feather on some two millimeter foam and cut it out and boom, you're good. But we didn't do it. So in this episode, making an EVA foam Assassin's Creed Tomahawk Part 1, we're going to begin going step by step through how to make this little dismemberer. Um, and hey, if you want to build your very own, um, we have a template for this, so we're going to include the link in the description below for our storefront also, so you can go over there and pick up a template if you want, or don't, just chill out, it's cool too. Uh, so, that's it man, enough of me, pop, 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 pop. if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Alright, there we go, there's all of our patterns transferred over to our different pieces of foam for our Assassin's Creed Tomahawk. Take your time, don't fly by your hand at 100 miles an hour, we don't want to be cutting off a finger. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by attaching this six millimeter to the 12 millimeter. All right, there we go. Give it a couple minutes, let it dry, and then we'll make contact. All right, there we go, a 12 and a 6 stuck together, and then here's our other 12. All right, so what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to be coming in with our steel rod, and we're going to be embedding it inside this foam, and then we're going to be trapping it with our 12 millimeter piece. Uh, right there. That part's going to go up into the head, and then down here, we don't want it reaching the end. We want it short of the end. Like that and like that. Okay. All right, now let's come in with our bolt cutters. There's our rod. There's our mark where it's going to stick out of the end. All right, we're in good shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move this out of the way and we're going to dremel this trench out. All right, get your dust mask on. Do not ever grind without your dust mask on. All right, there we go, perfect. Now let's make sure that it fits in there all the way. And it does. Now we're gonna come in and whoa, look at that, perfect. All right. And we're going to cut just to the outside, about a quarter inch or so to the outside of our Sharpie line, just like that. All right, let's come around and do the other side. Stay just to the outside of your line. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. Our metal pole is submerged. Now we're gonna... All right, now let's come in and line this up at the front. Okay. All right, now the reason we did all that is this, okay? We've got the flush end right here with this rod sticking out, so it goes up into the head, but the reason we cut out the shape first is this. Boom, there we go. All right, just like that. Now we know that when we move over and we cut this out, we are not going to hit 
our metal support on the inside. Now you could totally cut this out with a box cutter, but we're gonna go over to the, actually let's do that. All right, all right. All right, there we go. Dig it, man, that is solid. That's a solid handle with a steel rod in the middle. Look at that, how we've got our cool wavy end to the handle. That's just what it needed. If we would have just taken a round dowel and made a straight round handle, that would look kind of fake and Halloween-ish, um, like a cheapo Halloween prop. But, all right, so there's the bulk of it chunked out. There's our three pieces of foam, a 12. See that, you can see it in there. We've got a 12, a six, and a 12 with an embedded rod. All right, sweet. All right, now we're gonna knock these out real easy. We got some six, some four, and some two millimeter. All right. This, okay, we've got our, these strips cut. We're not gonna cut the ends off though because we wanna wait until we round this off and then we're gonna wrap a test wrap around it to find out how long it is before we cut our length. So we have those prepared, ready to go. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna knock these out. Really. And we're gonna cut out these two circles, a four and a six, and you've seen us do this a million times. We just stand up our knife and we pivot right around our circle. All right, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna come in with this leftover piece of 36 millimeter, that's an inch and a half thick. And uh, because this is so thick, we're gonna cut this on the bandsaw. All right, now we're gonna take this piece and And what we want now is we want to cut these just a little bit to the outside. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, see that? Just a little bit outside of our line. Like that. All right, perfect. There we go. All right, there we go. Give it a couple minutes and then we'll stick it. Line our piece up with our Sharpie marks that we made and we traced it. Okay, now don't just drop it down. You gotta come around to the other side. Make sure we're where we wanna be. There we go. So we know that our spacing is even because if you just drop it down and it's crooked, man, you're in trouble. Line it up and come over to this side and make sure we're lined up and we are. We've got a slight overhang for the two pieces at the top and the bottom. This is so easy. You can totally rock this. Even if this is your first build, go for it. Okay, now these two pieces are going to go on the end of our tomahawk. So what we want to do is we want to slightly round the edge of the four millimeter and we want to completely round the six millimeter. So we're going to get our gloves on because I don't like getting mess all over me. I'm a clean freak. And we're gonna get our dust mask on. You never want a Dremel, never grind foam without a dust mask. All right, there we go. We slightly rounded off the edge. Now, this piece, we're gonna completely round it like a circle. Let's go for it. All right, there we go. See that? Round it over. Now let's get our heat gun out. It's gonna tighten up the foam real nice. All right, now while we're at it, we're gonna slightly soften this up, and I mean slightly. Oh, first of all, let's take a look at this. All right, there we go. Look at that, how that foam tightened up real nice. And the top. 
Same thing there, man. Pretty nice. Actually, let's hit this one a little bit more. All right, there we go. We just softened it, all right? Let's do the same thing. Let's heat seal it now. All right, now we're gonna bring in this 24 and this 18 and we're gonna attach these together. Okay, now we've got our template. All right, there we go. Now, this might be the trickiest part of the build, but it shouldn't be terrible. All right, here we go. This is a thick, uh, chunky sucker here, and we're gonna have to cut this out on the scroll saw, and what we're gonna need to do, too, is we're gonna need to poke a hole through the middle so we can feed our scroll saw blade through there, all right? All right, there we go. We're just gonna drill through. All right, just like that, see that? Now we can feed our blade right through there to cut out our centerpiece. We got the center cut out, reattached our blade, now we're going to do the outside. All right, check that out, man. You gotta love the scroll saw. Look at that rascal. Wow, that's a tight cut right there. All right, now what we're going to do is this. We're going to bring in our template. We cut up the center part of our template. We're going to line it up here. All right, now's where it gets a little bit artistic, but you can do this. You can totally do this, all right? We're gonna trace this line. All right, there we go. Now we've got those two lines drawn. Now what we also have to do is we're gonna come around to the side of this thing, all right? All right, there we go. We're gonna draw a center line, all right? We're gonna draw a center line all the way around the whole piece. All right, now comes crazy time, all right? Just like that. And then we're gonna come around to this side and we're gonna go from that line right to this point. Just like that. All right, see that taper? That's what we're gonna want. All right, let's do the same thing over here just so that we've got the line on both sides. All right, now that we have our taper drawn, we're gonna have to come through with our knife and we're gonna do a tapered cut right to this edge right here, okay? Now this is gonna be kinda tricky. Very carefully, take your time because we're going towards our hand, all right? Now we're gonna move our hand onto this side and we're gonna come through just this side over here. Okay, we're going to just like that, all right? See how we got one side cut? All right, now we're gonna come over to this side and we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to slide through, just saw back and forth, nice and slow, come right out at our corner. All right, look at that. See what we just did? Look how easy that was. We just tapered this. You can totally do this. This is not hard at all, okay? Let's come back in and do the same thing. Let's line our, our knife up. Let's start our cut. Okay, now we're only going to go down in our cut till the blade starts to pop out right here in the middle. All right, then we can move over to just this side. All right, just like that. We'll do one side at a time. All right, we'll come through. All right, see that? All right, now we'll do this side. Take your time, saw back and forth, come right out at the corner. All right, now look at what we just did. 
we tapered this blade. That is crazy. Now when this comes in on there, it's gonna fit right on there like that. All right, now what we're going to do, let's retransfer our pattern over because we cut part of it off, just like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna get our dust mask on and we are going to tear this thing up with the Dremel. And what we're, gonna do, we're going to cut off most of it from line to line, okay? Okay, I'm gonna come around to this side and do the same thing. Try to go close from line to line. All right, careful, just like that. All right, see what we're doing? We're shaping it out. All right, there we go. We've got the bulk of it cut out. Now we're gonna have to, to taper the inside as well. All right, but we'll do that with the Dremel. All right, now, see what we did? We cut it out, all right? We cut out the angle with our knife. Then we came in with our super rough bit and we gouged out our shape that we want. See that? Now we're gonna come back in with the smooth one and really start cleaning up, okay? All right, look at that. That is a cool contoured blade right there. Now we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna clean up the other side and then we're gonna round the inside off. But you know what, while we're here, let's start rounding the inside off now. All right, look at that, man. A little bit rough, but man, this was kind of tricky to sculpt. But uh, we didn't do too bad. All right, now we're gonna come in with our 220 sanding paper, and we're gonna wrap it around this piece of PVC pipe, just like that. So we've got a round curve, and now we can come in into these curves, just like this, see that? and we can get our, our curves cleaned up. Just like that, look at that. That's pretty good. Wow, not terrible. Definitely not terrible. All right, there we go. Look at that, that's pretty darn good. Not the greatest, but it's not the worst. All right, now that's gonna come in there just like that. Wow, it's a tiny, it's a hair tall at the top. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a little, itty bitty tiny piece off of these tops. A hair at the top, we're gonna come there. And there. Look at that, that little notch we cut right out of the top and right out of the bottom, sits right on those edges. Wow, that is jamming. All right, let's get the dust mask off. 
Whoo! Holy smokes, man. We made a mess. Good golly, man. Gee whiz. All right, let's take 10, man. We're cleaning this disaster up and we'll be back. Give it a couple minutes. Set it on our edge. We're not going to stick it down yet till we get it centered. All right, look at that, man. That is nice. Fits perfectly on that little ledge right in there on both sides. Just like that. Perfect. All right, there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the back piece. It's going to stick out of here. Okay, so we've got a 24 millimeter piece and two two millimeters. All right, so all right. Now let's knock this out on the bandsaw real quick. All right, there we go. Now this is going to attach to here on both sides, just so we have that cool little recessed area there. There we go. Okay, there we go. We made our cut. Get some of our frizzies off the end. All right, but what we messed up was we cut off the window that we created, which is kind of messed up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that all over again. We're gonna come in again, and we are going to have to rethink this. So we did the side cut using this pattern. Okay, now we're gonna roll it over, and we're gonna do this cut right here. But now here's where we want to put that little recessed area. So let's get another two millimeter piece of foam, trace out our square again, put this back in here. Let's get our window cut out. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this edge of our triangle and we're gonna line it up with this crease right here on both sides. Line our piece up right there like that. All right. All right, there we go. Look at that. Got a nice little recessed vibe going on there. And our little pieces hang a little bit off the end, but we'll clean that off. All right, there we go. We've got the flat edge here. Now we can come in right down here. And come around to this side. All right, there we go. Now we have our cut we can make next. All right, now we'll go over to the bandsaw and make those real quick. All right, dig that, man. Look at that with the cool recessed detail in there. Center it. All right, there's the line. All right. Wow, what a jamming sculpted detail, man. Look at that thing. All right. All right, there you go. You saw it. We roughed out our handle. We got our square handle built with our metal support on the inside. And we've got the slight wave in it. Um, we've got that part set up. And you saw us knock out the whole shape of the head. Man, was that cool. 
tons of Dremeling, but not hard. You saw how easy it was. You cut the edge off with a knife, and then you come in and you start sculpting it. It's really easy. You get used to it fast. Um, but there you go. We're kind of set up for the fun next episode, putting this whole thing together. So uh, that pretty much does it. That concludes Making an EVA Foam, Assassin's Creed Tomahawk Part 1. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're going to go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.